<laughs> Had an idea it was you. Where is everybody? It looks like a ghost town. It's liable to be if you and your pals don't leave it alone. <laughs> There's a stranger here looking for you. For me? Yeah. Is he wearing a badge? He didn't see one, but that don't say he ain't. Well, so long, pal. I reckon your sins has caught up with you at last. Where is this somebody? In there, corner table to the right. We're in with you on this, Tex. This is my play. You fellas stay out of it. You looking for me? Well, of course I be, you young wildcat. I ought to neck you down and tan you. My Uncle Hank Younger. <laughs> you old war dog. Must be five years since I've laid eyes on you. Let go of that. What are you trying to do, break it? Sit down, Tex. I want to talk to you. What outfit you riding for? An outfit from the hills, why? From the hills, eh? What's the idea of roaring into town like a Comanche on a raid? You got the law bluffed, or does it cut in? You didn't ride 200 miles to ask questions, Unc. What takes you down here? To get you, kid. I want you to ride back home with me to the Bar Y. Oh, no. Now, just a minute. I got more troubles there than any one gent can handle. Wolf pack ranges split wide open. Us cowmen have our backs to the wall. Settlers coming in droves. We're being shoved off our land, robbed of our beef. Why saddle me with that? We need a fighter, Tex. A reckless fool who acts first and argues afterward. A gent who would sooner ride the hills than come to the Barway and claim his certain heritage. That'll be all the excitement you want. Will you come? Maybe. Maybe not. I've been finding some meat here that needs turning. It's up to you. You're not leaving. Well, you're either coming or you're not. You said you wasn't, so that settles it. Well, Uncle Hank wants me to join up with him. But it doesn't offer the fight of the profit I got right here. The nest of war is loaded with dynamite. And between scraps, it'll mean hand nursing doggies and listening to Hank's long-winded tales of his engine fights. It's the kind of a job a man ought to shy away from like smallpox. You're absolutely right, Tex. So I reckon I'll take it. Huh? You going? Pronto. Howdy, friend. Nice day. That's not a nice way to act, son. Why don't you like cow folks? The kid gave it to you straight, fella. Get off this land and stay off. 
All right. Your shooting iron wins the argument. But that's no call for your son stoning my pony. He ought to be taught some manners. Manners? Are him crippled because cowmen like you rode him down and trampled him? I ought to take pay for that right now. With lead. What's your game is, stranger? But if it's a fight you want, come out and show yourself. Go back and tell your boss the fence is up again and it's up to stay. A petticoat wrangler. You better be careful with that gun. Someday you're liable to hurt somebody. Get out before I pull this trigger again. All right, sister. But I'm not always as patient as I am today. What this range needs is a few good funerals. You want the town as well as the range? I saw the whole play and I don't blame you. But try and hold your temper, son. This is no time to start trouble just to satisfy a personal affront. That's reasonable talk, Sheriff. But if you want to preach, why don't you start on these sod busters who think they own the place? I'm not the sheriff. I have no authority here. I'm just Ben Harveston, trying to make men act like humans instead of wolves. Trying to prevent war. If cowman hate keeps growing, there won't be a man left alive on this range. Cowman hate? I'm saying the hate isn't all on one side. I know. But the cowman must realize that others have the right to live and make homes. The settlers have been robbed, terrorized and they're just about at the end of their patience. What this land needs is less violence, less destruction and mistrust. All men have rights, and they must fight together to maintain them. You're right, Harbison. But you've sure got a job ahead of you, bringing Common and Nestor's together. Well, you bet I've got a job, and I'll give my life to put it across. If that's straight talk, I'm for you all the way. You hear that, boys? When the rest of us recognize the truth as this man has, then there'll be peace for all of us. Now, he's the fellow we want to get. <laughs> Thank you. 
Which is it now, Tex Ryan or the Wind River Kid? Oh, sorry. Come inside, we'll have more privacy. What'd you say that handle of yours was now? I didn't say. What name are you going by? Rand Lassiter. That's pretty close to Ross Landers, isn't it? Not unless somebody happens to point it out. And I don't reckon there's anybody daring to do that. Let's forget it. I have. What kind of a game are you playing here? Kid, you've walked into the biggest thing in the West. I want you to meet the boys. Pete Clacken, Jake Slavin, this here is Tex Ryan until further notice. He used to ride for me. It's our big chance. This is gonna be the richest range in the state and I aim to own it all. What's it to me who owns it? Right now the common and Nestor seem to be disputing that point. You horn into it and you're liable to get burned. The way I've been working it, the other fellows are in the fire, not me. Oh, I see. Setting the nesters in common against each other while you play both sides of the fence, eh? Still quick on the draw, ain't you? Quicker. Why, it's a sure thing, kid. One cowman has already sold out to me for a song. After the rest of them get sick of it, I'll take over the whole range at my own price. After I get the cattle spreads, I'll change the nester title, set up my own laws, and back it with the biggest gun crew ever got together. There it is, kid. What do you think of it? Well, I'll tell you. I've smelled things that were rottener, but I don't remember where. You're not leaving. Why not? You heard too much. Is it my fault that you talked? You know our trail split when you started shooting up people and robbing banks and stages. That was out of my line. I figured when you quit the gang that you'd turn yellow. Get that yellow, Rand. Open up the door. What's going on in there? Who wants to know? It's me, Sheriff Manton. Open the door, Landers, and tell your sheriff of self-defense. How come, Rand? What is this? Little accident, Manton. Nothing you need worry about. You did this. It was no accident. I warned you, you started a war. What are you driving at? What's Pete Kraken to you? He's one of my neighbors and a nester. And now I know you for a cowman killer. In one minute you've undone what it's taken weeks to build up. You're wrong, Harbison. I'm not a killer for anybody. Here's the man who started your war, if you have one. Accusing him too, eh? Why, he's one of the few who's tried to bring order out of this mess. Thanks, Robertson, but I can handle this myself. All right, boys, come on. Don't forget, kid, you're a wanted man. If you drag me down, you fall with me. It might be worth it. Howdy, boys. Looking for somebody? Yeah, I want to see Hank Younger. Better see Connors in the house. He's the foreman. Thanks.
Looking for Hank Younger, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm Connors, old Hank's foreman. Who are you? The name's Ryan, Tex Ryan. Well, what's wrong? Hank is dead, Tex. Murdered. Hank was looking for you up until the time he called home with a nester's bullet in his back. You're boss now. We tried to follow the killer's trail, but we lost it. Old Hank allowed you as a fighting man, and I reckon you know what to do. But kill all the nesters, says I, and you're sure to get the right one. Why are you so sure it was a nester's bullet? Who else could have done it? We should have taken Rand Lasseter's advice and run them all off. But we were too easy going. Do you know Rand Lasseter? Know him? Why, he's the new owner of the Seven Star. And a fighter that's been through this thing before. He'll be leading the cowmen. Now that old Hank is gone. That's what he thinks. Huh? What'd you say? Never mind. Go ahead with what you were saying. You arrived just in time, because we're starting out after an Esther right now. That's wired off part of your range and keeping the cattle from water. The boys are waiting. Come on. Boys, this is Tex Ryan. You remember Hank told us about him? He's boss now. Good to know you. Yeah, sure, I'll be in time. time. Tex, we're all with you on this. Thanks, boys. All right, let's go. down. Get back, Sally, before they shoot you down like they did Mrs. Nelson. Get away from that fence. Cut that wire and it means war. It's war already, you sneaking sodbuster. We're hazing your kind off of this range. Over my dead body. Here's calling your bluff. Hold it. We're leaving this fence for a while. Harbison, go on back to the house. I'll handle this. What's the idea? We came here to tear down that fence and we're going to do it. Come on. The first man who goes near that fence stops lead. You know what you're doing. I'm being boss of my own outfit, if that's what you mean. Get going. We're through, fella. I knew that before you did. Old Hank could turn over in his grave if he saw who he left his ranch to. Come on. I don't savvy what you're up to, but I rode for Hank when he cut the first sod for his house, and I'm fighting for the outfit to the last. We're both fighting for it, but we're gonna fight my way. I might be making a fool of myself. If you're a fool, this range can use more like you. Why did you do this for us? I didn't do it for you. He knows why I did it, and he'll tell you. Don't talk to him, Sally. He's the cowman who shot Pete Kraken and beat up Rand Lassiter. What's your game here? What's yours? You're trespassing on my range. Your range? Yes. Hank Younger was my uncle. And you talk big about respecting people's rights. I do respect them. All right, then. As man to man, I ask you to move that fence and split the water until we can settle our differences. If I hadn't horned in here a few minutes ago, you wouldn't be here to argue. Think that over. Why should I deal with a man of your kind? You'll deal, or face ruined. I know the answer to this rotten mess, and before I'm through, the whole range will know it. Now you clear that water hole.
The new railroad brought in the settlers. Few at first, then in droves. From then on, we had shootings. Shootings in broad daylight. Bob wire, planes for fee holding for large cattle outfits. Gunfire from the brush. Then your uncle dragging home with a bullet in his back. You said back there that you had an answer to this mess. I'd marred to know what you meant by that. I have got it. But it's an answer nobody will believe until I can prove it. Cost more to prove it than I'd care to pay right now. Well, I don't savvy, but I'll string along with you. You better think twice. You're liable to find yourself fighting both sides. I'll still stick. All right, Umbre, you're heading back to my ranch. Well, what for? What do you want with me? You'll soon find out. Get moving. Now tell me what you were snooping around this house for. Well, I just looking for some of the boys that... Why? Uh, uh... Say, look out for that chair. Your uncle thought a lot of that. Just what do you want with the boys? No, I thought they'd join us tonight. Who's us? Well, me and some other fellas. That's not answering the question. Who are they? I can't tell. Are you gonna talk or do I have to... No, I'll talk. There's some of Rand Laster's men. We was going after them thieving, murdering nesters. They're squatting on cattle then. Who are these nesters? No, oh, there's a lot of them. There are Jenkins and Arthur and Harbison's. Harbison's? Give me that rope. What are you going to do? Fix you so you stay right here. Get the horses, Connors. We're riding as soon as I get this hog hogtied. Covered. It's Tex Ryan and Connors. Make a light, we're coming in. No, you're not. I'll come out. What brings you here armed to the teeth? You're going to be raided tonight and you'll need some help. Raided? That's what I said. How many? I'm not so sure about that. Come on inside. We do. Just sit tight. It's the other fellow's move now. I'll hide the horses and stand watch. When you hear me fire a shot, douse the light. You don't have to take that risk. The risk will be to them that's coming. I've been through the engine wars. I know what to do. Tell me, what is it? I'm not sure. All I know is I'm sorry you're in it.
you were fine today when you stood between us and the cattlemen. I don't know why you did it, but well, I've hoped that someone like you would come along. And now that you're here, I, well, I wish you wouldn't. They're all against you, and one side or the other will kill you. No, they won't. Even if they did, it'd be worth it. Please go away. Come back after this trouble is over. I can't do that. There's too much to hold me here now. Who is it that's coming? It must be Carmen. Who else could it be? We'll see. You get ready to fight. But I'm not fighting. My purpose is to prevent war. When the time comes, you'll fight. Are you hit, Connors? Suffering wildcat, no. I seen him coming. I just had to have time to reload. Stay here, Sally. Who are they? There's one of them over there. Take a look for yourself. Pete Kraken. There's another one over there. Jed Brooks. These men were settlers, my neighbors. And you condemn me for shooting Pete Kraken. What does it mean? Why should they have struck at me? I gave you the answer to that once, and you shoved it down my throat. Last night's raid will hurt the settlers. Violence can be laid at our door now. It'll breed dissension in our ranks, weaken our front, and give our enemies the chance they've been waiting for. Is it coming? That's all right. It's Nelson, the neighbor. Those were neighbors last night, too. I heard some shooting during the night, Harbison, so I thought I'd come over and see what it was all about. You certainly took your time. That was real helpful of you. I take that unkindly. After all, we've got homes to protect, and cattlemen ain't choosy who they shoot. Cattlemen? It wasn't them last night. 
But as my neighbors and yours, men we've called friends. Friends? You sure? You step out in the brush with me and I'll prove it to you. Except for Ryan and uh, Connors, both cowmen, we'd be dead. Now, don't ask me why, Nelson. Tell me why. Explain it if you can. Explain? That's very easy. It's clear to me you sold out with the cowman, body and soul. That's a lie. You stay out of this. Keep him covered, Connors. Take it up, Harbison. This won't get you any place. You've let me see you as you are, Harbison. You're done. Finished. By tonight, the whole range will know. From here on, it's war. Troubling you, son. No matter which way I turn, I play into Lassiter's hands. Harvison, you're in a tough spot here. Why don't you and Sally come over to my ranch until this trouble blows over? No. The settlers won't believe Nelson's lie when the truth is known. Thanks, Tex. But we'll stay. It's your choice, Harbison. But don't let your stubbornness stand in the way of Sally's safety. Tex. I'm not afraid for myself. I know that. And I want to thank you, too. If you should need me, I, I won't be far away, Sally. I hope you won't be, ever. Come on, we're hitting the home trail. Like we've had company since we left. Yeah, we we're liable to have a lot more. It's a sure thing he didn't cut himself loose. No, his teeth didn't look that long. Connors, the man behind this murderous scheme is Rand Lassiter. I know that, because Lassiter himself offered me part of his deal the first day I hit town. Well, how come he got so big-hearted? He and I used to ride together once. What? Why, yeah, you guessed it. An outlaw. But his ways got too hard even for me. So we split. Now it's come to a showdown between us. I prove who and what he is, and he does the same to me. Funny, ain't it? A few days ago, I wouldn't have cared. Now it's different. The girl? But it's not only that. Men can make their fight and die, Connors. But the women are left to carry on. And most times, there ain't much to carry. What do you aim to do? I'm riding to Centerville. There's a law there that can't be bought or scared. That's a long way, son. You've got to go a long way for what you want. Ain't there no other way? If there is, show it to me. Sure, I could meet Lassiter and shoot him down. But what would that prove? Nothing. And his men would carry on life where he left off. So you see, it's got to be my way, Connor. And I hope I'm not too late.
Today's a big day, boys. I've got the nesters and the cowmen all ready to leap at each other. Then we step in and pick up what's left. That affair at Harbison's was a great break, too. Everybody thinks the nesters made the attack. Yeah, it wasn't much of a break for Pete. What are you squawking about? It'll be a bigger share for you in the final split. No, I ain't squawking. All right, then don't. Tex Ryan's been playing right into my hand, too, acting the way he has. He's got the cowmen and the nesters looking sidewise at each other. You've been watching, Tex. Where is he? I don't know. He's been around his place for the last two days. Good. I don't want him stampeding my setup here in town. Where's your boss? He ain't here. I was sent to tell him Lasseter's calling a meeting in town this afternoon, and we want everybody there. Lasseter? A meeting? That's what I said. The boys are worried about what's going on around here, and they want to hear Tex Ryan explain himself, if he can. Well, he can and he will. Well, he'd better. I hear the sheriff's got a warrant out for him. Don't go to town. They're all against you. You'll stand no chance. I've got to. They'll talk war. I'll state my case to try and stop them. But they won't listen to you after the other night. Oh, please, please don't go. Sally, what are you doing here? What's wrong? Tex, Dad's gone to town. They've called a meeting and, oh, what'll happen to him after the other night? Who's called a meeting? Lassiter. Lassiter? Where are you going? To that meeting. Be careful. Don't worry, honey, I will. You stay here.
Listen to me, men. You've got to hear me. I have not sold out to the cowmen, as some claim. My home was attacked, not by cowmen, but by men I called neighbors, friends. We've got to find out who is behind that attack. It's the only way to stop a war that will wipe us all out. You talk of stopping a war. Maybe you think that wasn't a war at your place. It wasn't. I was attacked and I defended myself. You and your common friends. We've swallowed too many of your lies. Listen, men, and heed well what I'm saying before you plunge this town into a bloody war. You settlers had best be careful. If you make a hostile move, these cowmen will shoot you down like dogs. And you cowmen, I'm fed up and ashamed of that thing you call pride. Remember this, if you raise a gun against these homesteaders, they'll tear you limb from limb. You're outnumbered five to one. Hold on there. What kind of talk is that? I don't savvy it at all. Are you changing front two? No, it's not me that's changing. Wait a minute, Lassiter. All I ask you to do, men, is to hold your fire until I've had my say. What does a Wind River kid, cattle rustler, and mail order bad man want with Rand Lassiter? Just a meeting of old friends. The Wind River kid meets up with his old boss, a respectable renegade, Rand Lassiter. You lie. No, I don't lie. I rode for you once when your name was Ross Landers, but I quit when you and your gang started murdering in cold blood and robbing stages and banks and the likes. All lies, but the folks know you now. Sheriff? There's Tex Ryan, one and a half a dozen places as a Wind River kid. Arrest him. It's no go, Landers. Your hand-picked sheriff and gunman can't stop me now. You've played a big game here, but it's your last. You'll send no more night riders out to rustle cattle in the name of the nesters or to cut fences and terrorize the settlers in the name of the cowmen. Don't listen to his lies. He's an outlaw moving in here to rob us blind. I'm owner of the Bar Y. All my interests are here. Your interest is to see these men kill each other off so you can gain control of this range. I also have proof that you took their money and didn't file any of their claims. You're worse than a thief, Landers, and if the law can't stop you, I can. Fill your hand. Wait! The law can stop him and will. Ross Landers, you've led me a chase, but this is the end. I arrest you for robbing the mails, for falsifying land office records, for impersonating a federal agent to defraud home seekers. Lift your hands. Who are you to talk arrest? John Kincaid, United States Marshal at Centerville. I'm arresting Landers and all who sided with him in this deal. Thank you, Irons, man. Stay where you are, everybody. If you don't want to stop lead.
Landers, you killed my uncle. Sure I did. And you're next. Kind of people to say I'm sorry, but that's it. Tex Ryan has sure opened her eyes. Oh, the fault wasn't yours, Nelson. Tex tried to tell me the truth, but I wouldn't believe him. <laughs> Dad, what's happened? I failed, but Tex didn't. Where is he? Don't worry about him. Here comes right now, boys. Nice gun, Ryan, and you know how to use it. But I'm collecting only the weapons of those who have broken federal laws. This county is shy sheriff. I'll put in a word for you, Tex, to succeed him. We're for you, Tex, all the way. That means fair play for all. We need sheriff like him in this county. Don't worry, ma'am. From now on, that'll be the safest job a man could have. Thanks, Marshal. Right. Are you going to take that sheriff job? Why, yes, if it's offered. And the minute I hang on that badge, I have to do something that scares me stiff. What is it? I have to get rid of that pretty squatter at the bar Y water hole. Yes, sir, I have to move her and her dad over to my ranch. Oh, that shouldn't be hard. The squatter is law-abiding. She'll do anything the sheriff orders. <laughs> Hey, Dex, when you become sheriff, 